Joe Malone London, the A to Z of Britishness. A is for apologising profusely. I'm sorry. Sorry. Especially when not at fault. I'm so sorry. B is for brown sauce. Apply liberally on a bacon butty and thank us later. C is for cups of tea. The answer to any problem. D is for dogs. We prefer dogs to people. E is for the English coast. Blustery yet beautiful and freshly captured in wood sage and sea salt. F is for a full in English breakfast. Not for the faint-hearted. G is for Glastonbury. It takes a full year to recover. H is for Hogwarts. Have our invitations to the School of Witchcraft and Wizardry been lost in the post? I is for I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. God forbid you should mistake how are you for an actual question. J is for Joe Malone London. Obviously. K is for knees up. This is English for a proper party. L is for last orders. The pub bell which lets us know it's time to call it a night. M is for mushy peas. Found in both chip shops and stately homes. Better than they look. N is for nosy neighbours. We're inclined to curtain switching. O is for odd British place names. Badger's Mount, Buttock, Crackpot, Rotten Bottom and Plugs Gutter, to name a few. P is for punk. We may look prim and proper, but inside we're full Mohican. Q is for queuing, a national hobby. But if you're not in the queue, don't stand near it. You'll cause chaos. R is for roast. Nothing else will do for a Sunday lunch. S is for speaking slowly and loudly whilst abroad. We believe it translates to local language. T is for thank you letters. Actual pen to actual paper landing on the doormat. U is for the underground. Tube etiquette is taken very seriously. Rule one, under no circumstances make conversation with anyone. Rule two, never make eye contact with strangers. Rule three, when it comes to escalators, stand on the right and walk on the left. Do not mix this up. V is for vegetable patches. We're proudly green-fingered. W is for weather. How many ways can you describe rain? X is for X, Y, Z. Cockney rhyming slang for an exquisite young gent. Y is for yes. Particularly when we mean to say no. Yes. Z is for zebra crossings. Call us old-fashioned, but we actually stop to let people cross the road. 